One of the world's most instantly recognizable cultural icons, Napoleon Bonaparte is usually depicted with one hand in his waistcoat and short and aggressive. His supposedly small stature and fiery temper have inspired the term the Napoleon Complex, a popular belief that short men tend to compensate for their lack of height through domineering behavior and aggression. But was Napoleon really short? He was probably of average height. According to pre-metric system French measures, he was a diminutive 5'2", but the French inch, pouce, of the time was 2.7 centimeters, while the imperial inch was shorter, at 2.54 centimeters. Three French sources, his valet constant, General Gorgon, and his physician Francesco Antomarchi, said that Napoleon's height was just over 5 peds, 2 process, 5'2". Applying the French measurements of the time that equals around 1.69 meters or just over 5'5". So at 5'5", he was just an inch or so below the period's average adult male height. Napoleon was called Le Petit Caporal, but the nickname, translated as the Little Corporal, was not meant as a reflection of his stature. It was intended as a term of affection by his soldiers. Indeed, many contemporary French paintings, including David's equestrian portrait, suggest that the general was not short, but of average stature. In that painting, he at least seems to be in proportion to his course, but there are no other human figures nearby to which the viewer can refer. David's other portraits of Napoleon don't offer much by way of comparison either. In the majestic consecration of Emperor Napoleon and the coronation of Empress Josephine on December 2, 1804-1806-07, the step platform from which Napoleon crowns his wife challenges any comparison with other figures, while Emperor Napoleon in his study at the Tuileries, 1812, represents the subject standing alone at a desk. Works by contemporary artists show him similarly alone or sitting. One work by David's student Antoine Jean Gros, however, offers a group of figures on the same plane with which to compare the general. Napoleon Bonaparte visiting the plague-stricken in Jaffa, March 11, 1799-1804, commissioned by Napoleon, represents an episode from his Egyptian campaign in which he visited his plague-stricken troops in a makeshift hospital. By touching one of the victims, Napoleon defies the men around him who hold handkerchiefs to their faces. He appears not only heroic, but also average. All the men standing near him seemed to be about the same height. The English, however, were not so generous. Their artists depicted Napoleon as diminutive. Around 1803, the celebrated cartoonist James Gilray introduced the character of Little Bonnie, who resembled a childish Napoleon. At first, Gilray seemingly emphasized bragginess. In Maniac Ravings, or Little Bonnie in a Strong Fit, Napoleon is shown amid a tantrum, flipping furniture, wailing about the British nation and London newspapers, and shouting, Oh! Revenge! Revenge. Gilray then played up juvenility for smallness, whereby Napoleon was represented wearing huge boots and, as one source put it, trying to talk tough beneath an enormous bicorn hat dwarfing his entire body, or struggling to pull a sword from an unwieldy scabbard that dragged along the ground as he walked. Soon Napoleon was just depicted as being short. In The Empress's Wish or Bony Puzzled, another cartoonist, Isaac Cruikshank, depicted a peevish Napoleon at about half the height of his wife and troops. A wee Bonaparte thus became the standard for representing the emperor in English newspapers. Though it's hard to say if and why the British invented the short Napoleon trope, there is some truth in Cruikshank's representation. Napoleon was probably significantly shorter than his troops. Several sources note that his elite guards were taller than most Frenchmen, and thus Napoleon had the appearance of being shorter than he really was. Yet interpretations of Napoleon's death certificate estimate that his height when he died was between 5'2 and 5'7. 1.58 and 1.7 meters. The discrepancy is often explained by the disparity between the 19th century French inch, which was 2.71 centimeters, and the current inch measurement, which is 2.54 centimeters. Sources consequently estimate that Napoleon was probably closer to 5'6 or 5'7, 1.68 or 1.7 meters, than to 5'2. Although the range may seem short by 21st century standards, it was typical in the 19th century, when most Frenchmen stood between 5'2 and 5'6, 1.58 and 1.68 meters, tall. Napoleon was thus average or taller, no matter the interpretation. 